with great love and respect in my heart, I welcome you to this beautiful Sunday morning from Upasana. <clears throat> we just finished a three ratri here. Last night was full moon. And we have just returned from the ocean after doing the send off. It was beautiful being at the ocean early in the morning. The sun is out. It's just beautiful, stunning morning here. Before we begin, let's take a moment to arrive. Wherever you are, just pull your spine straight. Open your shoulders and close your eyes. Invite that peace, calming, cooling sensation in your eyes. Let the whole body just settle down. All the restlessness settling down the way sand settles in a glass of water. Breath is flowing in. Breath is flowing out. Pause your breath for a moment. And before you begin to stress out, release the breath. Just do this pausing of the breath and being totally absorbed in the breath and releasing it. Just do this two, three times. Connect with that peace in your heart, how restful you feel, how full you feel. How grateful you feel. Soften your body a bit more from inner, inside. Breath is just flowing in and flowing out effortlessly. And slowly, we open our eyes, greet each other. Thank you for taking this time. I'm just going to 
see who is here, each one of you personally. My greetings to you. <clears throat> we have just come out of Tri Ratri. So my mind is still very much steeped into the reverence for that sacredness. Shakti. The supreme presence that we have been calling with the name of Divine Mother during these last mm -hmm. three days. <clears throat> For a moment, let's take our mind towards that which is behind every action in the universe. Everything moves because of Shakti. And that Shakti is present in every molecule, every atom, to the subtlest form of just the charge between the two polarities. To the biggest thing you can imagine, that Shakti permeates every molecule of the universe, including you and me. It is because of that Shakti we are able to do whatever we need to do. If that Shakti wasn't there, can't even wink my eyes, cannot speak, you cannot hear, you cannot think. That Shakti is closer to us than we can imagine. Devotion to that Shakti really means paying attention to how I engage in the world. How do I function? What do I think about? What is important to me? The day we begin to look at our various actions, our thoughts, this mere act becomes an act of devotion. Sometimes we hold on to vibrations of fear, negativity, anxiety. When moments like that come in our life, we do know that something is not right. Even if I'm angry at someone or envious or any negative emotions, a part of us knows that something is not right. When I'm not comfortable with myself, I know something is not right. That itself proves that our true nature is something different. that we know from a much deeper place. So why do we go on to, why are we gravitated towards negativity? We also know when we are established in negativity, 
we are far from our center. It is because of the devotion inside. We have that feeling. That something is not right. Deep inside we know. Yet we keep flowing towards which we know is not right. The moment a negative thought comes, instead of flowing into it, hanging on to it, attaching ourselves to it, identifying with it, this is what we have to look at and how to stop it. How to stop it? Because sooner or later we have to stop it. If a weed is growing, it's a lot easier to pull it while it's young. Then let it grow and then we need chainsaws and shovels to pull it out. Such is a life of devotion. This is the spiritual life. That whenever I am aware of any kind of negative tendencies, I need to address it sooner than later. What is the best way? The best way to stop it is really just stopping your breath. Just stopping the breath, wherever it is. Pulling yourself back in. And before the body begins to stress, slowly, actually breathe in through the throat. Ujjayi, it is called that breath. Slowly welcome the breath and slowly release the breath. Three, four, five times. Pull yourself back. We are not flowing towards the negativity, whatever it is. Mind will come with, with its many excuses. Yes, I have to fight for my right. I have to be, protect myself, all those things. The real protection that you really need to protect yourself from is this negativity. If we maintain our peace, whatever we are fighting against, we disarm it. The more we fight in our mind with that, the more power we give to that. And more shakti, energy, we spend in that direction. A spiritual aspirant, a Shakti Upasak, is always very much focused on his or her investment of Shakti. In what kind of thoughts, what kind of actions, what kind of interactions I engage in and I spend my energy in. Let's forget about the other. Just become very self-focused. Self-centered. This self-centered is not with a small s. Self-centered with a small s means very much focused on my ego self. With a capital S, self-centered means always paying attention to what am I feeling, what am I thinking, what am I giving importance to? Is it really worth engaging with? Is it really worth nurturing, giving more energy to? The simple teaching of the ashram, nothing is worth losing your peace of mind. Nothing.
if I maintain my peace in my heart, the vibrations coming out of my being are working for us. Whatever we want to fix, whatever we want to settle, whatever we want to shift, it all can happen if I maintain my peace, not by fighting. Fighting just makes it bigger. If I'm living in fear, that kind of vibration is coming out of my being and multiplying. No matter what, remaining grounded in my devotion to Shakti is very helpful. Having this trust that it will, although things may not look right right now, ultimately it will be good. Ultimately it will settle down. It will find its place. Having that kind of attitude is very helpful. No matter what is happening in life, a storm comes. If I stand up to face the storm, I will get knocked down. Sometimes when the big storm comes, it's better to just duck your head. Let it pass. And this ducking is possible only if we have practiced devotion. With devotion, we get patience. And there is hope. When we become hopeless, we get agitated, we get frustrated, we don't know which way to turn, and we lose our balance. <clears throat> so to stay in devotion, first one has to understand what the devotion really means. And if you don't know long description, the easiest description is nothing is worth losing your peace. No matter what is coming my way, I'm not going to lose my peace. Stopping the breath. taking two or three nice deep breaths, pulling yourself back in. If the chest is tightening, opening it a little bit, breathing in is very helpful. Saying that to yourself, whatever it is, whatever is agitating me, whatever the nature of the fear is, it will pass. It will pass. Even if somebody is creating it for us. If I'm a worshiper of Shakti, nothing is separate from Shakti. Even the person in front of me who is being the cause of my agitation, who is being the cause of my fear, anger. Can I see presence of Shakti even in that? That is the truth, actually. When moments like that come, sometimes it's good to even say that to yourself. Oh, Mother. Oh, Divine Mother. May I come out of this lap, sit in another lap of yours. Fighting does not help. Pulling your energy back, maintaining your peace, changing your vibration. Subtler it is, the more powerful it is. So 
the person who is being the cause of my agitation, can I send a blessing to them? Because please remember, that person is just in the front. Behind that is the Shakti. So instead of trying to spray on the leaves, why not put water on the root? Shakti in me, Shakti in the other person. Yes, it requires little work. It requires patience. It requires dealing with our own mind that's arguing and fighting and throwing a tantrum. It requires that. It may be a little unfamiliar in the beginning, but the more we become familiar with our own grounding, our own peace in our heart, easier it becomes. For me, sometimes <clears throat> negativity comes towards me. Somebody is angry, somebody is not happy, somebody is um, throwing a tantrum and throwing that at me. Being a human being, I do feel a little hurt, disappointed, and something in me wants to come up and set things right. But considering myself Shakti Upasak, I'm always very much aware of how to not waste my energy. If I react, more energy will be needed to soothe things out. So I'm just speaking to you about how I deal with it. I just think, well, this person is not happy right now and their unhappiness is being directed towards me. I'm not going to jump and join them. They will change. I leave them alone. Energetically, I disconnect myself from them. Let them play out. I don't think too much. I find some other place. If I have nothing, I just go and pull some weed somewhere and make the place look a little beautiful. Just not thinking too much is very helpful. The more we think, I'm sending energy. I'm still connected energetically with the person and the situation. How to pull back? Finding a distraction is helpful. Having a vision, just look at a place and, oh, I could make it look a little better. So put my energy in that direction towards more creative than destructive. That person is unhappy. It's not because of me. They got their own reason to be unhappy. If there is something for me to do, I look at myself. And if there is little adjustment to be made, first I make the adjustment in my own mind. And if I have come to a solution, just even having that resolve in my own heart changes the vibration coming out of my being. And that vibration goes out and hopefully touches that person. And Sometimes it doesn't happen like you take a pill and it works. Sometimes it takes a little time. So patience is required and little space is required. During this three Ratri, 
I was just reflecting on that how sweet and simple our practice is. You have your mantra, no matter where you are, you take a little time to do your mantra. It doesn't require elaborate preparations, doesn't require long commitment of time. It does require us carving out a little time every day and sitting, doing our mantra job, doing our meditation. Please understand, do not have big expectations from your practice. We are not the sitting there to have to watch shooting stars and walking in bliss and walking on water. Nothing like that. Keep it very simple. Sit, do your mantra job. And while you are doing your job, just bring the feeling of peace, bring the feeling of connection with the divine, divine mother, with the guru, the best that you can be, the happiest you can be, the, more, the most vibrant you can be. Just holding that image, you just do your job. Many times people engage in spiritual work or puja, worship, with a desire that I'm doing this to get this. But that is called nimna sreni, means the lower category of devotion. The higher category of devotion is that there is no expectation. There is just a celebration of my connection. I'm just grateful to have this practice that I can just sit and be in that peaceful state. I see some of you are just laying down on your bed. What a nice way to be a part of satsang. You could be just laying down and listening to Babaji's satsang. This is nice. This is also the gift of the Divine Mother that no matter how, where we are, we can be in a peaceful state of mind. And this also happens because of the grace of the Divine Mother. Mother is closer to us than we can imagine. Even laying down in your bed, just close your eyes. Pay attention to what kind of thoughts are going in your head. If the thoughts are negative thoughts, just stop your breath. Slowly breathe in, slowly breathe out. Even the breath is called Pranamai Bhagavati, the Divine Mother in the form of prana. Just laying and close, closing your eyes, the breath is flowing in. Just put a little thought in your mind that this is grace is flowing in my body. Life force is coming, riding on this breath. That life force is being absorbed in my body, spreading all over. Every single cell of my body is receiving this new energy. Holding these kind of thoughts, welcoming a few breaths, is, does much more magic than seeing shooting stars and walking on water. Please keep your practice simple. Don't have big expectations from this. And once in a while, stopping your breath, bringing the thought of your being connected, your being one with the divine, 
You are not separate from the divine. You are not separate from the divine mother. She is within you in the form of your own shakti, your own energy. And try to spend, engage in the world with positive attitude. Thank you all for listening. It has been a beautiful morning. After Thiratri going to the ocean, sending off the flowers, wave coming in and the wave going out, flowers just going all over, riding on the waves. Made me feel about the life of each individual, how every actions and every thoughts sometimes just thrown into the ocean at the feet of the Divine Mother. Do not take anything seriously. Whatever. It, appreciating those in your life who are around you. And the person closest to you, living with you, is not different than the Divine Mother itself. Being able to see the divinity in yourself and the divine in the one closest to you is a great spiritual practice in itself. And we receive the blessing of the Mother living this way. I bow to the Divine Mother residing in your heart in the form of peace and take leave from you. <laughs>